only six stretches you need to do every day. Whether you spend all day hunched over a computer or stand up for long periods of time, it's normal to feel aches in your upper and lower back. But there's good news. There are easy stretches you can do to finally give your back some much needed relief. When attempting these stretches, it's important to keep in mind that flexibility plays an integral part in strengthening your back, easing your muscles, and improving circulation in your spine. Stretching your back can even strengthen muscles, which can prevent more pain from occurring in the future. Before trying these exercises, see how flexible your back currently is. Here's a little test for you. Stand up straight, feet about shoulder width apart, arms relaxed at your sides. Now, slowly curl your back and lower your head to the ground without bending your legs. How far did you get? Were you able to touch the ground with your hands? If you're not used to stretching or have weaker muscles, you may not have been able to get down too far, but that's okay. After doing many of these stretches over a longer period of time, you'll notice that you become more flexible and, in turn, have less pain. 1. Passive to Active Hanging Stretching out your back is key to helping your muscles feel good and relax no matter what you're doing. And the hanging stretch is a great way to relieve your back muscles from tension. There are two kinds of hanging stretches, passive and active. The difference between a general passive and active stretch is simple. Passive means you let the body stretch without manipulating or forcing any movement at all. An active stretch requires you to move a certain way to achieve the stretch. You will understand the difference after learning more about the passive hang stretch and the active hang stretch. To do a passive hang stretch, you'll need a bar strong enough to hold your body weight. You can use one on a back machine at a gym or even door frame pull-up bar. Stand up straight, reach up to the bar, and wrap your fingers around it. Once you've got a good grip, unlock your knees and just hang. That's it! While you're hanging, be sure to keep your head straight and your spine aligned. Don't twist and try to do anything fancy. This stretch may seem super simple, but it's actually doing a lot. Not only does it strengthen your shoulders and align your spine, but it also engages your quads and abs. If you do this stretch a few times in the morning and evening for a few minutes at a time, you'll notice your back muscles will be way less tense. Okay, now on to the active hanging stretch. Start out in the same way as the passive hanging stretch. Once you're in the hanging position, carefully tilt your head back, lift your chest up, and pull your shoulders back while still keeping your arms in a straight hang. By doing this, you engage your glutes and hamstrings. Hold these for about 5 seconds at a time. And remember, don't bend your arms. Keep them straight so that you don't strain any muscles. 2. The Trunk Rotation Stretch this stretch is great for improving the mobility of your spine by relaxing your side trunk muscles. All you do is lie down flat on your back with your legs relaxed. Take one leg, bend it upward, and push it over the other leg without straightening it out. Push it slightly over the other leg. You should feel a good stretch in your torso side. Do the exercise again on the other leg. Do this move a few times on each side. 3. The Camel Stretch this stretch is all about arching your back, which can really help back muscles that are stiff and sore from sitting down all day. Start by getting on all fours. Gently arch your back. This should be making somewhat of a hump. Yep, like a camel. Release the arch and relax. Doing this a few times is great for your muscles and circulation. It can also strengthen the abdominal muscles. Do about 10 of these every morning or before you start a workout. Four. Deep Squat and Reach This stretch is great for shoulder extension, and it really helps stretch your upper back. It does require a little bit of balance and strength. Start in a deep squat with your butt almost touching the floor. Once you're ready, lift one arm straight up to the ceiling while the other arm is placed down in front. Once your hand is up in the air, turn slightly in that direction, twisting your torso ever so slightly. It helps to use the lowered arm to push in between your legs to get a good twist. Don't forget to keep your back straight and your head facing ahead so that you can get the full extension of the shoulder. Hold the position for 5 seconds before switching to the other side. If holding a squat is a little too challenging, find a bar to hold on to as you squat. 5. The Hip Flexor Stretch 
If you sit at a desk all day, you know what it's like to feel lower back pain. But sometimes pain in your lower back isn't from poor posture, it's from other muscle groups that are strained from what you're doing. If you suffer from lower back pain and sit at a desk all day, this hip flexor stress can be really helpful. When you do a lot of sitting, your hip muscles can become tight, so when you finally do stand up, these tightened hip muscles actually pull the lower back forward. This puts a lot of stress on your lower back. Ouch! To keep your hip muscles loose, try this. Kneel down on the mat and take one of your legs, still bent with your knee touching the floor. Lean onto it, pushing it out in front of you. Straighten your other leg flat against the mat behind you. By pressing your weight onto the bent leg, you're giving your hips a good stretch. You're also stretching the upper leg muscles in the leg that stays flat. Hold the stretch for about 10 seconds before switching to the other leg. Do 5 reps. Feel the burn. 6. The Jefferson Curl This stretch is great for flexibility since it helps you get to a place where you can finally fold your body in half and touch the ground while standing. Here's how you do it. Stand up straight with good posture. Slowly roll downward starting with your head, then your shoulders, and curl your back down one vertebrae at a time. Be sure to do this very slowly so you don't strain anything or lose your balance. Remember, don't bend your legs. Once you've reached the ground with your hands, or have gone as far as your body is able to, hold it for about 5 seconds. Now it's time to rewind. Roll back up slowly until you're standing up straight. After practicing the Jefferson Curl for 30 days, don't be surprised if you can finally touch your toes. If these stretches were challenging for you, don't be discouraged. Training your muscles, even while stretching, takes time. If you do these stretches every day, they'll become easier over time and your back pain will decrease more and more. Remember that if you feel any kind of pain, don't force yourself into the stretch. Visit a kinesiologist or a trainer at your local gym and they can help figure out why you're feeling that way. After doing these stretches, you'll never look back. Sorry, bad pun. Which is your favorite stretch to work out tired back muscles? Tell us about it in the comments section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the bright side.